Hello, beautiful family. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us what you should do every time you feel you're under witchcraft attack, whether in the morning or in the evening. At times, these witches operate in the afternoon because they know you fortified yourself at night. At times, they operate in the night because they know that you have fortified yourself in the afternoon. So always be ready. Always be prayerful. A Christian is supposed to pray without seasoning. Pray anytime your spirit leads you. Pray in your heart. You don't need to shout for people to know you're praying. You can sit in the bus and pray. You can sit in the canteen and pray. You can sit in your toilet and pray. You can be praying when you're bathing. Just as the spirits direct you. So whenever you have the opportunity to pray, pray. Don't say, oh, here is too open for me to pray. No. Pray in your heart. Nobody may even know you're praying. You can even hold your phone on your hand and be praying. People will not know. So prayer is the only authority we have. It's the only shield we have. It's the only armor we have. It's the only gun we have as a Christian or as a child of God. So when you don't pray, you don't communicate with God, you don't know God one-on-one, -on -one, things will always be difficult for you. In terms of people, whenever anybody comes for any attack, they will succeed in getting you because you are not prepared. They know that you are not prepared. A, a little breeze, they will blow, they will catch you. When you have a small dream, you will be shivering. You saw me to stand on your feet, pray and cancel that dream. Return it back to wherever it's coming from. You will start shivering, start looking for who to call. And if that person doesn't pick your call immediately, you will start, you know, you cannot do anything. And when the person manages to pick your call, fear will not even let you explain your dreams. And when the enemies know that you are that fearful, they will keep striking you with evil dreams. So that it will frustrate your life. Some of you will have a terrible dream. You cannot even stand up from your bed. You cannot do anything. You will be scared so that they will not kill you. Who told you they will kill you when you, when you want them? Unless you want them to kill you. Stand up. Take authority as a child of God and destroy whatever bad dream it is. And one thing about bad dreams is or evil attack is it may not be to you. It may be to somebody else. But you that God wants to use to reveal the information, you are scared. So God will stop showing you those revelations since it's affecting you. If God is always giving you information about a particular person or about yourself and you are not using it very well, you will see that your dream life will just disappear. But people that use their dream to pray, use their dream to manifest good things, even to their family, God will keep using that person every time. Any revelation, anything that wants to happen in that family, God will use you because he knows that you can stand, you can pray, you can discharge whatever negative interpretation of that dream and return it back to the, the sender. But when you're a fearful person, God will give a revelation today. You will not even pray against it. You'll be shouting, you'll be scared. The next day, you'll give another revelation. The third day, you will not see again. That is why your dream life, most of your dreams, life just disappeared because you're not using it. You are not interpreting it well. So whenever you feel you are under spiritual attack or your dream life has been stolen or you are not spiritually blind as a result of witchcraft attack, at times these witches and wizards will go and blind your spiritual eyes so that you will not be getting revelation of what they want to do to you or what they want to do to somebody very close to you. They will blind your spiritual eye. You will no longer dream. You will no longer see. Some of us that have the gift of seeing, they will blind your spiritual eyes because they know that with you seeing, you'll be able to know when they want to launch an attack on your family members. So when you have such gifts, or you always have spirit, anytime you sleep, demons must come and attack you. Winches and wizards must come and attack you, or attack any member of your family. Get this incense and use it every night. Winches and wizards destroy your incense. You can get this incense from any spiritual shop. Or you can order from me if you don't have any spiritual shop around you. This incense is very, very powerful to destroy anything spiritual attack. Any attack the enemies has launched on you, you can use this incense to destabilize it. Make sure you burn it in, either in the morning or in the night. Or you can choose to burn it every night if you don't stay in the house in the morning. Then you can equally use this incense if you are the type that always have dangerous dreams dangerous attack you know there are some dreams you have you know that this is no longer a dream it's a physical attack 
sometimes somebody wants to stab you and when you wake up you start feeling chest pain on that spot the person stabbed you it's obvious it's no longer a dream it is a physical but spiritual manipulation it's a spiritual attack but in physical it is affecting you so always burn this incense in the night or you're the type each time you sleep you'll be hearing strange noise your ears are always drumming in the night at times when you close your eyes, the only thing you see are dead people. People you don't know. Some of them you know them, but you know they are dead. Start using this incense to put an end to anything witchcraft. Or the compound you leave. The owner is an occultic man. He has succeeded in manipulating every member of the compound. Everybody is now living with fear. You cannot talk, you cannot move out because you don't have money. It has affect, attacked your uh, finances. You are just there. He's just using your destiny to shine. Please use this incense. By the time you start burning this incense, you will see that your landlord will be uncomfortable. At times, he may even tell you to pack out because he's no longer comfortable. His charms is no, are no longer working for him. Sometimes it could be your co-tenants tormenting you they will keep bewitching you every time you are sick every time you're on the sick bed every time you are borrowing money because they have attacked your finances they have attacked your health they have attacked your happiness some couples fight every day some couples fight every day somebody told me one day that she doesn't want to get married but her parents are forcing her to get married i asked her her reason she said that the, uh, if marriage is the one her father and mother married, that she will remain, she prefer to remain single. That she want me to do a work for her so that they will stop asking her about being married. I was like, your father's marriage or your mother's marriage did not work, does not mean your own will not work. She said she cannot deal. That is in her own language. So you can imagine how the enemies have tormented that child, that lady's heart has caused a lot of her work. In her parents marriage that is making her to see marriage as a danger zone marriage is a sweet thing and i keep saying it even in my next word marriage is a sweet thing unless you are not with the right partner unless you don't understand yourself there is no uh, marriage without problem but what matters is the ability to sort it out even you as your you and your siblings fight so imagine another person that doesn't have anything to do with you that is not related to you you have to study yourselves, know what is good and what is bad, know the do's and the don'ts of that your partner. That is what makes marriage perfect. If you know that your partner don't like this, you try and stop it. If your partner knows that you don't like it, he or she will try and stop it. By the grace of God, your marriage will be sweet. Like I always tell people I know, if people don't say you're using jazz on your husband, know that you are not living a peaceful marriage. Whenever they say you're using jazz on your husband, Go back to your, to your house and pray and thank God that you have a peaceful home. So do this by burning this incense every day and see how God is going to fight all your enemies and destroy them. Okay? Yes, the name of the incense again is Witches and Wizard Destroyer Incense. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.